Today, I've got a stuffed portobello mushroom for you. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, my name's Pamela and I like to share deliciously easy plant-based recipes. So if those are the types of videos that you like, be sure to click that little red subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. This week, I have got a stuffed portobello mushroom for you. Now, this recipe I actually took from my uh, stuffed mushroom Wellington video last year, and I took the inside and actually just put it into a portobello mushroom uh, for this year because I wanted to make a recipe that was flour-free for the holidays. So let's go ahead and jump right in and I'll show you what I did. All right, so start off by de-stemming your portobello mushrooms. And it's been a while since I worked with portobello mushrooms, so you will see in a little bit that a knife is not the easiest way. And removing the gills is optional. I just like to have a lot of extra room for uh, filling. So I am removing the gills and um, I'm just removing them with a spoon. It's nice and easy. And I'm also taking off the rest of the stem that didn't come off with a knife. And just pulling the stem out is the easiest way as you can see. So just removing the gills on this second portobello mushroom. And these are about medium sized portobello mushrooms. And once I have them all cleaned, I'm gonna put them on a uh, baking sheet that's just lined with parchment paper and stick them in a 400 degree oven for 10 minutes and then flip them over and cook them for 10 more minutes. And that will get them nice and soft. I've got a pretty small yellow onion here and I'm just going to dice that up. It's actually gonna be more of a mince because um, I wanna make sure that since those portobello mushrooms are um, fairly small, that there's not really big chunks of anything. So I'm going to um, mince this up pretty small and I'm just using my knife because it's just the two portobello mushrooms um, for just me tonight actually. But um, if I were making this for a holiday meal and I were making a whole tray of portobello mushrooms, I would actually use my food processor for this. Um, and as always, all of the amounts and ingredients are going to be listed in the description box down below. Um, I've got about a handful of uh, cremini or baby bella mushrooms here. And again, I'm just going to mince these fairly small um, so that there's not big chunks of mushrooms in the stuffing for the portobello mushrooms. So um, just mincing them up nice and fine. And again, I would use my food processor, but for just me and for just a small handful, I'm just going to use my knife because I don't feel like washing my food processor for just this little amount because it's so easy to just do it by hand. All right, and done with that. So up next, I'm going to prep um, a little bit of my spice. I've got some herbs de Provence here, and some of the spice in the mix, it, it's kind of large. So I'm just gonna use a mortar and pestle here to um, crush it up nice and fine, um, so that there's not like a big chunk of like rosemary or anything. All right, and then I'm gonna water saute my onions and mushroom. And um, it's gonna take just a little bit because um, there's not a whole lot here to simmer down. So again, depending on how many of these you're making, so if you're making it for a large uh, Thanksgiving gathering or Christmas gathering, this will take longer. Um, but since it's just a little bit, since it's just two portobello mushrooms, this isn't gonna take very long. Um, so I'm just going to simmer these down until they're starting to kind of stick to the bottom of my pan um, and use some water to kind of deglaze the pan once it's starting to stick and get all that yummy uh, caramelized uh, goodness up off the bottom of the pan and um, wait until they get like nice and a little bit of golden brown really um, on them. And you can see they're starting to get nice and caramelized. All right, so once they start to stick, just deglaze a little bit of water there and pull up the flavor off the bottom of the pan. And then the next part is optional. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cooking wine. If you have just regular white wine in your fridge, you could also use that. And this step is totally optional. So um, you can skip it if you would like. 
The heat from the cooking will burn off any of the alcohol in the wine, so it's really just for the flavor, but again, it is a completely optional step. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in the spinach. I'm using frozen, you can also use fresh. Then I'm gonna add in some lentils. The uh, pecans, you can also use walnuts if you would like. The herbs de Provence. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a good stir to combine a little bit of water to make sure the herbs don't stick to the bottom of the pan there since it's getting a little bit dry. And I'm just gonna break up those chunks. The, <laughs> the frozen spinach has a couple of chunks. And then salt and pepper to taste. Now go ahead and cook this until, if you're using fresh spinach, you wanna cook it until the spinach is wilted down. And if you're using frozen spinach, you wanna cook this until the frozen spinach is heated up thoroughly and it is um, kind of mixed all throughout the uh, filling. So um, I've got a couple chunks that are being stubborn and not breaking up. So I wanna make sure to get those all broken up and um, it's starting to stick to the bottom of the pan, so I'm just gonna deglaze that really quick one last time before I take it off of the heat, and it is just about finished. You just wanna make sure that um, the spices have had a chance to kind of warm up and become aromatic, and that all the flavors have had a chance to kind of meld together, and that everything is cooked through properly. Okay, and my portobello mushrooms are nice and fork tender. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide them over to one side of my baking tray here so I've got room to put the stuffing pan in the shot here. And I'm just going to divide the filling evenly between both of these portobello mushrooms. And I'm really just stuffing them as full as I can. So I'm kind of, you can't really see it from this angle, but I'm kind of mounding the filling on top of these uh, portobello mushrooms. So they're quite full and I'm using the spoon to kind of um, pat it down and pack it um, down so that it stays and it's not a loose filling. So it doesn't um, kind of fall apart when I try to move these. So just packing it in and then I'm gonna put these actually back in the oven for another five minutes or so just to kind of get everything warmed back up before I plate them and I actually am while they're in the oven I'm gonna make just a quick uh, five minute gravy to serve this with so there is my plated portobello mushrooms there is my five minute gravy it's actually probably more like a two minute gravy <laughs> it's really quick um, if you want the recipe for that let me know down in the comments section below and I can totally get that for you but there you have it stuffed portobello mushrooms all right that is it for today's video if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet be sure to give it a click right now and I will see you next time